Hey everyone and welcome back to a video. So, it's been a while and I've missed you all a lot. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a few days. I just have been really having some crappy issues with my tripod and the positioning of the lamp and recording that video with my whole head in the way just really, really put me on a little bit of um, a YouTube coma. <laughs> but um, I'm back now and we have no head in this video so win, win. So this is my lovely client Jade and she's come in, we've done our prep work, I've sanitised her hands and my hands, pushed back her cuticles, gone in with my e-file bit, etched the nail plate, dehydrated, removed all the dust, all of that stuff, applied my forms and primer and now I'm coming in with acrylic. So because it is really hot and sweaty in the UK at the moment, um, some of my forms kept slipping off so you'll see that I do swap between fingers you can see that ring finger there has popped off um, so I'm holding the form as I go along um, so I am coming in with CJP Lime Splash on the free edge going in with a more to ombre down and then just placing some crystal glass on that blend so that we don't file that away so I've moved on to the middle finger because the form had slipped off. So I'm just using magenta and we're going to do a ombre with that again. Just how we did the same with the lime splash. So I'm just coming in and creating the free edge. And the reason I'm not using a clear base is because this client usually comes in and she's either took her nails off, soaked her nails off herself or we will soak them off. She just likes to have um, fresh sets because she leaves them on quite a long time so it's not like a two week three week appointment it's like six weeks later she'll come in for a new set so I'm just making sure that magenta is blended nicely onto that nail plate and then I'm going in with a more making sure I'm tucking it in at that cuticle area and then feathering that bead downwards to create that nice ombre U using my brush to kind of swipe it away from the side walls to make sure none of that product is touching any of the skin and then again I will come in with crystal glass and just cap where that blend is so that we can protect that when we file. So then I am coming in to the index finger now and using crystal glass, creating a thin base, using a little bit of like more than I would on that free edge because we're going to just imprint some netting into this free edge here. So I'm just going to take the netting after that set a little minute and just indent that into that acrylic there. And then I'm going to come in with lime splash and magenta and then some of this beautiful glitter called tutti frutti and again that is from cjp and then we'll cap that whole nail
So onto the ring finger, I've already built my clear base and then I'm going to come back in with that tutti frutti loose glitter from CJP and just manoeuvre it and nudge it around and then I'm going to cap that as well in crystal glass. So when all the nails were set, I went ahead and filed and shaped them all using the same routine that I always do. Cleaned away all of the dust and now we're just going in with CJP Tack Free Top Gloss and top coating all of the nails and then that is the finished video. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. I love that I got to do a nice neon bright set. I um, haven't really seen many neons coming in yet even though the weather is beautiful and the summer is here. Um, so it was really, really refreshing to do something nice and bright. Um, so yes, that is the end. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not really subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. I love you all so, so much and I will see you all again in my next one. Bye-bye.